Hello friends, uh, welcome to my channel Silas Creations and I hope you all are having a wonderful weekend. I'm here again uh, today with another DIY and a sewing project. Today we are uh, fixing a large elastic pan so with the waist to length with the fitting and for this project uh, I'm using my sewing machine Singer Quantum Style 9960 and uh, we're gonna use two uh, stitch with this project for this project first uh, we're gonna use uh, our presser foot number a which will give us a straight stitch and then i'm gonna use a presser foot number c which will uh, we will use for overlock so this project is so quick and uh, done very nicely so let's head over to the project all right here you can see uh, i have my actual uh, size paint on the top and the other one which we need to fix that's on the bottom and you can see the clearly difference the bottom paint is a bigger from hips area waistline and even from all over uh, the end of the length so all we're gonna do just a stitch on a sides uh, like a two inches and then we will cut extra fabric and use a uh, presser foot for overlock but because um, we are luckily because uh, uh, this one is elastic, so it's, this one is easy, easy to sew. One thing we have to careful just as we have a button here, metal button. So uh, we have to sew this inside. Just make sure your needle not don't touch this area. And also uh, the pockets openings are pretty big. So even we are sewing inside, we're still going to have enough uh, space we can put our hand inside. So let's head to our fun project today uh, presser foot number a and then i'm um, selecting stitch number straight first one that's a stitch number two that's a stitch number one so you can see the difference i should show you when i select stitch number one my needle is on this position but when i gonna select stitch number two here it's gonna move so I select stitch number two because I want my presser, my needle on the other side. So I can have more fabric here. And here I'm going to check my settings here. And I'm going to increase length of stitch. Okay. One more. So that will, because it, this fabric is a little thick. So that will help me to uh, have a nice um, stretch. All right, from, from elastic area, start slowly. Okay. Again, when you get at the end, just do slowly, 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 because we don't want to break the thread, we don't want to break the needle. Okay, and that's it. All right, after uh, stitching from both sides with a straight stitch, now we're going to cut extra fabric and then we will use our foot presser foot number C for overlock. Right now we're gonna remove our presser foot it's just gently release from the back and that's it and we're gonna select our stitch on my sewing machine this is a stitch number 15 Yes, this is a stitch number 15. I don't know if you guys can see, but that's over here. And on the dial, this one is here. So you're gonna select this one. As you can see, this is already showing me to attach a foot, uh, press a foot C. I already attached. That's our stitch how it's gonna look like. So if we go to settings here, 
I'm gonna increase little zigzag ways. So that's fine. That will be our straight line, and that will be our zigzag, zigzag, and that will give us our this stretch. All right. So. As I told you earlier, um, on the elastic area, start gently, you know, give your machine time to work on those stitches. You don't want to put extra pressure. It's feeling releasing from the elastic area. That's it. I should show you zoom, zoom video how that stitch look like actually. That's how it's look like and uh, I'm gonna keep uh, doing this till my length and then I will be back but I want to show you this uh, presser foot the beauty of this presser foot they have a blade on the side which controls your fabric you know so you got really smooth and straight uh, overlock which I love about that all right thank you so much for watching our today project uh, and if you really like please give this video thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel silas creations and god bless you all Bye bye